Let's talk about why you should use Logic Remote with the Logic Pro and GarageBand. Let's start off by talking about some basics about how Logic Remote works with the Logic Pro and how to configure Logic Remote to work with Logic Pro. The first thing you'll need to do is to download Logic Remote onto your iPhone if you don't already have it. Navigate to the App Store on your iPhone to download Logic Remote. Search for the Logic Remote link like this. Here you can see the download link at the top. Because I have already downloaded Logic Remote to my iPhone, the link says open. If you haven't downloaded it yet, it would say get. Click on the get link to download the application. To set the connection between Logic Remote and Logic Pro, click on the settings icon in the upper right hand side of Logic Remote. In the middle of the screen, you'll see the Logic Pro icon and the name of the device that is hosting it. Click on the name of the device if you would like to change it. If the device wasn't already set, Logic Remote would have prompted you for it prior to connecting. Not only is Logic Remote free, but the same version of the app works for both Logic Pro and GarageBand. I personally find it a little irritating when my phone goes off when I'm using Logic Remote. So next we'll go over a setting in Logic Remote that will prevent this from happening. If you want to configure Logic Remote to not go to sleep while it's on, click on the settings icon in the upper right hand corner of Logic Remote. You'll see the option down at the bottom. Move the toggle button to set your choice. One of the most obvious and biggest advantages of using Logic Remote on your iPhone is that it frees you up from having to be next to the device that Logic Pro is loaded on. Obviously when you have your phone on your hand you can take it over to the instrument you're playing on and you know do the things that you need to do and it's it's very, uh, very, very easy to do and it frees you up a great deal. Another powerful feature of Logic Remote is that if more than one person in your band has Logic Remote, then it takes the load off the producer because every person can, you know, have their device on hand and fine tune the tracks out at the, out where they are performing. Next, I'll go over some of the most popular ways that I use Logic Remote when jamming and recording with my band. You can create a new track by clicking on the settings icon and clicking on new track. After that, select the type of track you want to create. You can adjust the volume level of a specific track or the master volume level. You can scroll through the different tracks by clicking on the right and left arrows. You can stop, stop and pause recording and rewind and fast forward. You also have a setting for metronome, automation, mute, and record, among other things. And finally, in a pinch, you could also perform on your iPhone, such as playing the drums. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you have any suggestions for videos or anything you'd like to see me cover in the future, please leave that in the comment section below.
Thank you.